The race for Florida's next agricultural commissioner is in November, but columnist Scott Maxwell says that this election might be a good example of why Florida Democrats lose so often. Scott, can you explain more on that? Yeah, for a little perspective, uh, it, it is worth noting that Democrats, as you mentioned, just lose over and over again in this state. In fact, uh, Democrats haven't managed to oust a, a Republican incumbent in more than three decades in Florida. And that's despite the fact that there have been more Democrats than Republicans in Florida. Uh, and, and now uh, that's not the case anymore. There are more Republicans. Over the years, Democrats have managed to snag a couple of open seats. Right now, Democrats hold one a grand total of one statewide seat, and that is the agriculture commissioner. And somehow uh, to try to keep that one seat that Democrats hold, uh, they have nominated a woman who has a history of anti-choice and homophobic social media posts, according to some of her uh, Democratic peers, uh, whose husband is uh, currently on a, I believe, part of a seven year sentence uh, on federal crimes. Uh, and who has raised less than 1% of the amount of money that her Republican opponent has. So it looks like uh, Democrats are trying everything in their power to lose this race. Hmm. More on that, Scott, can you tell us more about who the Democrats are backing, uh, Naomi Blumer and her opponent, Wilton Simpson? Yeah, Wilton Simpson is the Senate president, and basically he has gotten and more than $7.5 million in his uh, campaign war chest. To put that in comparison, Naomi Blumer has 68000 uh, And he gets that money from basically all of the special interests that would be regulated by the agriculture industry. We're talking about power companies, grocery stores, uh, big sugar. Uh, basically, if there is a company or an industry that would be regulated by the agriculture commissioner, those industries want Wilton Simpson uh, to be in that office. On the other side, you have Lamour, who has a, a nice life story as the daughter of Haitian immigrants, uh, who has a, a professional career that seems to be a bit all over the place. She says she's been an author, a coach, a consultant, a, a lot of different things, uh, but she emerged from a messy Democratic primary and now says even the leaders of the Democratic Party are not supporting her, their nominee. Scott, I wanna zoom out here for a little bit. Uh... Because in your opinion, you believe that having a race for an, ag an agricultural commissioner in Florida is ridiculous in 2022. Can you explain that? Yeah, that is absolutely true. And that is something I have argued long before either Wilton Simpson or Naomi uh, Blumier uh, came along. For more than a decade, I've argued that it does not make sense to have this position as an elected post. It's basically a glorified version of the Jolly Green Giant. You know, this is somebody whose uh, job is to promote agriculture. You don't need to elect someone to that position. There are some serious duties, uh, but those are the ones that are, as I mentioned, uh, uh, like like inspecting grocery stores, uh, some things to do with energy. That doesn't require an elected uh, uh, official. And instead, what we have is the industries choosing the guy that they want, and it has been a guy, uh, the guy they want regulating them. It's the fox uh, guarding the hen house. To put it a different way, I've often said, how crazy would you think it was if I said I wanted to create a new czar in Florida where we elect uh, a chancellor of theme parks? I mean, that would make no sense. And the only people who would really fund that came would uh, that position would be the theme parks. That's basically what we have in agriculture. It's not much of a regulatory position. And uh, in 2022, it's not needed.